All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to the OSHA subreddit. If you're not from the US or you're not of working age, you might have absolutely no idea what OSHA is. I think it stands for the Occupational Safety Hazards Administration. It's a federal administration that like if you ever go into your workplace is usually a poster about OSHA and, and the guidelines that they enforce for workplace safety so that everyone can be safe in the workplace. Here on the OSHA subreddit, however, uh, lots of workplace safety violations and or things going on that aren't uh, super safe. We're gonna browse through the most unsafe things ever witnessed at workplaces to this date. So why don't we begin with stuff? Can't say I've ever been injured in the workplace, so uh, well, it'll be interesting to see what's happened in other fields, but that's because I sit at my computer. So, let's start with uh, this one down here, the operator abusing his cat. I'm assuming it's a cat as in like a bulldozer kind of cat. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Are you going off a cliff? Dude, that takes some balls. Oh my God. Is he going to be? That's incredible. That's either, either he's just got some massive balls and he was just like, you know, I don't care. I, this is shorter than going down the switchback. So I have to go down to get to the bottom. Or he has done this many times. That's so sick. Yeah, I don't, I don't think OSHA would approve of that technique, nor like any supervisor, but oh, dude went off of like a vertical cliff. That's so sick. That's like, that must be the equivalent of like drifting in a car, but but like it's in a cat, it's like cat tricks. Women are not safe for work. This is a risky click. <laughs> now I, I can't, I can't read what that says, but does that, <laughs> does that mean that if, if a woman walks by, the dude's gonna get distracted and murder someone not paying attention to where he's swinging his axe. Alrighty then, your workplace safety hazards. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm sure that's actually happened at some point in the history of, of uh, like construction jobs or something. I'm sure that someone has been distracted by a beautiful woman and then ended up causing some issue. Hopefully not a fatality, fingers crossed. I guess you never know. Next up, strange, this container is a bit heavier than the others. Are you, oh God, oh God, oh God. I wonder if the driver was still in the truck. How does that even happen? Was the truck just like parked there? And then the container guy just wasn't really paying attention. He's just like, ah, this is the next crate to load up. And the truck driver must have been like, oh my God, dude. If the truck driver was in there, hopefully not. But think like that, I don't know how strong, like obviously the connection between the cab and the, is that the word? Is the cab the front or is the cab the back? I think the cab's the front of the truck. Connection between the cab and the trailer is obviously pretty strong because it went up. Oh, that looks precarious. Oh God, if he's in there, she must be freaking out. A lot of these things, probably gonna, probably things will get you fired. Just some innocent fun with a forklift. Oh yeah, that looks real safe right there. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like, I must go, my people need me. Dude, just fly. <laughs> Looks like he doesn't even react to it. He's just like, I, as, I guess, this is, we're going. Whoop. Jesus. Just like forklifts seem like a very common thing for, for terrible outcomes in gifts on places like this. It just seems like forklifts are really the common theme. I don't know why that is. I guess it's because Forklifts are like a piece of heavy machinery that you can operate without being extremely qualified, whereas you're probably not gonna get behind the sticks on a, a bulldozer or something if you've never done it before. Hindenburg under construction. God, that's really cool. It's too bad that it exploded. But that's really, God, that's also horrifically terrifying to be one of the guys on the top of the ladder. Man, and they're on wheels too. Like I assume, obviously you got you got some platform down there. The wheels aren't going to move, but it's a really long ladder. And I bet, I bet in those days, eh, they aren't hooked into any ropes or anything. Nah, they're just chilling. Like at least, at least put a rope around one of the scaffolding on the Hindenburg. But mm, nah, probably chilling there, freestanding. It's like those images you see from old construction in New York, where you just have the dudes sitting unharnessed, eating lunch on the I beams, like a thousand feet up on the Empire State Building. Like, oh, that seems real safe. That would never happen today. And a lot of people fell. A lot of people fell. I can't remember. There was some stat that I read uh, at one point. I can't remember who was the Empire State, but a lot of people died on those construction projects in, in early New York. Let me squeeze this wide load through. All right. Oh God, everything's come. Oh my God. 
that dude dove out to look at that you can see in the potato pixels the dude diving out onto the floor he's like oh god he reacted so quickly too like that was impressive reaction time he was out would he have been crushed that's what i'm gonna yeah that probably wouldn't have gone too well had he not dove out it's a forklift too it's always a forklift <laughs> <laughs> There's a leak in the engine room. I'm assuming this is a play on words for the name of the vegetable. Let's check it out. Heh. It's not even a safety violation. It's literally, it's just a play on words is all. I like how the advertisements on this subreddit seem to be relevant to the topic at hand. Reduce risk. Ensure compliance. 150 health, safety, and environment courses. Download the curriculum. You're welcome, company. Free promotion. Just in case anyone here watching this is in the market for some health and safety curriculum, we got you covered here. <laughs> All right, a leak. Such a, this is a, that's a dad joke that I would make. Bravo. All right, how to load a skid. Is it, It's not a forklift, this is more bulldozery. This looks between like a forklift and a bulldozer. It's kind of one of those mini bulldozers. What are you, he's gonna do some gnarly maneuver like that cat guy in the first game. Are you, what in, what? Are people this good? Oh my God, your balance, this is an unbelievable feat. You're gonna get onto the truck? What? Oh my God. I'm thoroughly impressed. That's so sick. I hope that that's actually where he needed to go and they're like just taking that machine to another location. That's the truck it needed to be on rather than like a big flatbed, but dude. That's amazing. That's some talent, right? It doesn't even like, he's straight up holding it in the wheelie. He's not even scraping anything on the ground. He's just on those two wheels. That's so impressive. That's so impressive. Wow. All right, where vegetables come from? I get it. It's, it's a play on words because of a vegetable is also a name for someone who has experienced a traumatic brain injury. Yeah, that, that looks a little bit hazardous. Also, it's hard to tell really, really well, but he seems like he might be a, a little on the older side. So yeah, that seems a little bit dangerous. Maybe not as dangerous as the whole Hindenburg thing, but still kind of dangerous, depending upon what kind of work he's doing. It looks like he's holding a drill. I don't know how much pressure. Yeah, it's not. I think the play on words is really where this post came to shine. I'm going to be honest with you because, uh, you know, we started with the leak in the engine room. I think people like their puns here on this subreddit. Pitfall. What is this? Oh, 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 yeah, you're gonna, oh. Oh, I thought the car was going in. Oh my God, <laughs> I was not ready for that. Because I've seen it, I've seen a video. Oh my, that's, yep. Oh God, imagine if, because I feel like your reflex when you fall like that is for your arms to kind of go out. Oh, imagine if his arms went out, they would have just, one arm did go out. I think his, his left arm looked like it went up on the edge, but imagine if both, ooh, just, ah. I've seen a gift before of the car ending up in there, but oh God. Oh, he seemed okay though, he got out. I opened my lab's first aid kit because I burned myself. This was the extent of its contents. Aspirin tablets and ammonia inhalants, in case you've been knocked unconscious and need to fetch in the first, I guess it'd be someone else that fetches it and also looks like a bunch of Kleenex. I'm assuming it's got, that doesn't seem very well prepared for any uh, issues. Maybe 50 years ago. It's probably there 50 years ago, actually. It's been there for that long. Just rub some ammonia on you. I'm sure it'll help the burn. That's not right, right? That, yeah, I like the top comment. That's hydroelectric power. <laughs> that doesn't seem terribly safe. Oh God, I can only imagine. I'm sure at that point the breaker has gone off. There's no electricity going through that, fortunately. But I wonder if there was, if somehow electricity was still able to make it to that, if you touched both the water streams, would you get shocked? Is it a continuous, I wonder if it's continuous. It's like that myth that the Mythbusters tested of peeing on the third rail on a, a train track. And I think they determined that your pee stream was not fluid enough unless you got really close to it but if you got really close to it you could electrocute yourself so don't don't get on your hands and knees and pee on a railroad track <laughs> if we just close the door no one will know what could that mean all right <laughs> he just closes it wait why why 
Why? He's just like, I'm fine down here. I'll just hang out for a little while. You can close it. I like the peace and quiet of the darkness. It allows me to self-reflect on what I've just done. Oh, God. That looks so painful. At least I don't think he hit his jaw on the edge there. It was another arm issue. At least not both arms. It says it's a pub cellar where beer barrels are kept. Very common in the UK. All right. Fair enough. I'm, I'm happy to say the worst I've ever done in terms of a pitfall is not noticing a curb. I've never not noticed a gaping hole in the ground, and I hope to keep it that way. Teamwork! Are you trying to break the bar? Oh, you're trying to- oh, you're trying to get something into the ground. I see. I was like, are they trying to test the resonant frequency to see if something will break? That was another myth-, myth uh, excuse me, that was another Mythbusters thing that they did at one point, was like, checking if you have a whole, um, Oh, what's the proper term? Brigade? Battalion? I don't know what it is. But marching soldiers, if you all have them done in unison, would it match the, the resonant frequency potentially of a bridge and cause the bridge to collapse? Because I guess in the past, soldiers have been instructed to break stride when they hit a bridge, and then uh, I can't remember what the outcome was. I don't think that it really was enough to take down any any bridges, but they, they tested it. You know what? That just seems like a smart way to, to get something in place. Honestly, if you don't have any big machinery, why not use human power? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Number four, don't forget your PPE. What does PPE mean? Personal protective equipment? I'm gonna, that's my best guess, personal protective equipment. I forgot my PPE. <laughs> I, th I believe that, yep, that sounds like personal protective equipment because I assume that's the spare that they give to people who forget it. That's cute, that's very cute. At least they have spares, you know? Better to be safe and embarrassed than to be unsafe and dead. Because you can't be embarrassed when you're dead. We dig them, then we forget them. Is this gonna be another pitfall where someone falls into a hole that they forgot about? Probably is. Who's gonna fall into the hole first? Oh, it's gonna be like a real deep puddle or something. This just, what are they gonna do? I'm trying to figure out the point of this. All right, you're racing around on, uh, uh, yeah, oh, yep. I saw, I saw the deep puddle coming. I saw... <laughs> hey, it could be worse. At least no one was horribly injured. Oh, I guess he got the wind knocked out of him. Um, <laughs> just mad. Oh, I think they all let him get ahead. Oh, that was the idea. They all let him get ahead, knowing that he was going to be real competitive. They're like, ah, Joe's, a, Joe's the real competitive one. You know what we need to do? We need to all have a race, but let's purposefully let him win so he gets really ahead and falls in the big puddle at the end. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. That's what they all did. That's what it had to be. <laughs> They're all, like, purposely hanging back. Totally. They knew he was competitive. Okay. Ladder? Ain't nobody got time for that. This is number two. Let's check it out. Oh, is it going to be... Oh, God. Looks safe and f efficient, I suppose. That, nope, never mind. Never mind. I was like, hey, some of the ones on here go really well. So maybe this will just be an efficient, nope. At least it looks like soft dirt with potentially hazardous debris down there that you could impale yourself on maybe, but soft dirt. Hey, if it had it worked out, you guys just gotta work on your grip strength a little bit there, and then you would have been fine. What do you mean? You can't just like hold on to something like that and support your entire body weight. Don't you grip? Strength? Don't you go rock climbing, bros? I'm kidding. I probably couldn't hold on to that. Uh, all right, and the number one post of all time, which coincidentally, one day old. All right, hey, we got a new champion. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them bobcats rolling. People do some impressive stuff on these things. Wow. Wow, it's so amazing. <laughs> what? Dude. How do people get so good at these things to where they're just like, yeah, I'll try that. What could go wrong? Everything, but I'll try that. So between, it's it seems like these bobcat things are the, the go-to trick machinery. We should, um, you know, people have skateboard channels, they have scooter channels, they have BMX channels. We need to start the world's first bobcat tricking channel, okay? Could be a new, new thing, new trendsetters here on YouTube, you know? YouTube has, there's the goo, there's the injecting babies with syringes. Let's make it a cool trend, like bobcat tricks. I'm waiting. Let's make it happen, guys. I want to be at the forefront of the bobcat tricking community. 
Okay, but for now, we'll end the video here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description. If you missed any of these, want to watch more of the Reddit videos and stuff, subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing right now in the outro, uh, it's over on Merit Music. You can click the link and all that stuff. Um, I'll see you next time.